praying. You know, we're just looking at uh, Hebrews 11. We're looking at verse 32. Um, you know, just Bible talking about different people in the, in the whole Testament believe that all they accomplished was by faith. Talked about Gideon, talked about Samson, Jephthah. And you just see that in their story, it was because they believed in God. David, Samuel, and all the prophets, it took faith for them to do what they did. So, and all they did was by faith. And the only way we can, and they're all for our example, right? The only way we are also going to be to come and lead by faith. Verse 3 says that who true faith, true faith, they subdued kingdoms, they worked righteousness. I mean, kingdoms, we will have battles in our lives, and it's going to be only subdued by faith. It's not as much as the shouting that we do. It's not as much as the gymnastics that we do. If all of those are done and we don't have faith, accompany it, those kingdoms will not, will not be subdued, at least not by the power of God. The only thing that provokes the power of God that, that causes us to overcome kingdoms, principalities, strongholds in our life is the element of faith, right? <clears throat> the only way we're going to live righteous before God is by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. The only way, that's the only way to walk with God. The Bible says they obtain promises and stop the mouth of lions. And we all have promises we want in our lives, right? Whatever those promises might be, whether to have a child, to get married, to make it in our business, whatever that might be, right? The only way we're going to be able to obtain it is by faith, right? It's by faith. There's no other option for us. That's the only key to life for us. It's faith, right? It's not going to be by, because I wish for it. It's not going to be because we're doing pity parties. God does not respect pity parties. The only thing he respects is faith, right? And the said the is they quenched the evident, the, they quenched the violence of fire and escaped the hedge of, of, of the sword out of uh, weakness were made strong and became valiant in battle, turned to flight the, end, the armies of the alien. We're only gonna win our battles by faith, by and we've talked about, uh, probably going to stop there for today, and verse 34. And we've talked about different aspects of faith. It's one to believe, but not only to believe, to do what that belief is entailing to do. Until we add, add action to our belief, our belief is not faith, right? Just believing doesn't cut the mark. It's the action we had to the belief that makes it faith. So if I believe in God for anything, I, I, need, I need to be asking myself, what action will someone that believes do? And, if I, and I need to begin to take that action. That is what makes it faith. Faith will always make you do something in, in line with the faith, with, with what you believe. You can imagine something after the cut of it is there, and I was praying to God that God give me strength one last time. And his head began to grow back. If he did not push against those pillars, those pillars would not move. He had to believe that with his head growing back, God had answered his prayer and there was now energy, power in it to push against those pillars, right? I mean, he might have been stronger, whatever. If he did not use what it is that he was, he was blessed with, he would not walk in his life. Right, so faith is not wishing, faith is doing according to what we believe. All right, I'm going to stop there for today.